So, just got in from Stamford Bridge. Um, I'm as shocked as anybody else. Where did that performance come from? Um, when I see the starting 11, and I see no Ozil, that ain't really a loss, um, especially in the big games. Um, and now I see no Sanchez, and I thought, oh, wow, he's put a Wobi in. And I love a Wobi, but, you know, he... he <laughs> He ain't going to be the difference in an Arsenal versus Chelsea, is he? Um, and that proved that today. I don't think he was great today. Although, that, that being said, he, he wasn't bad either. I thought he had a, an average game. Um, but yeah, I see the starting eleven, and I thought, oh, here we go. It's just a matter of how many, really. And if we can get out of there with a better scoreline than we got last year, then it's improvement. But... The game started off and the, the first 15 minutes or so, Chelsea, they were exploiting the wings. They had Pedro and Willian. Um, they were just pumping the ball, just hoofing it really, um, up to Morata, who was trying to chest it down and, and then spray it out. And, and it worked a couple of times. Um, our wing backs were going too far forward and they weren't getting back in time. So then we had Monreal covering. And I thought Monreal was great today. Um, personally, my man of the match was Mustafi. I thought he was unbelievable today. It, some of the stuff he was doing, he, he pocketed Morata today, in my opinion. And I know I've already had a lot of stick for the video I've done on AFTV. Um, I've gone and had a quick look at some of the comments and people are going, yeah, but, you know, you're saying he was shit, but so was Lacazette. Well, we didn't pay £75 million for Lacazette. That's your difference. So, yeah, Lacazette weren't great, but Lacazette's hardly played. Um, keeps getting substituted. But on to how the rest of the first half went. Um, soon as soon as we sort of slowed it down a little bit and just instead of rushing and, and passing too quickly and giving the ball away, as soon as we got into our stride and, and Welbeck had that header that I think he should have buried, as soon as we got that, I think everyone just thought, you know what, we've, we've got a chance here. And then the defence got better, everyone played better as a unit. Um, and, wow, Aaron Ramsey walks him through hits the post and it came out so quick to Lacazette he couldn't readjust properly. But let's have it right, he should have buried that. That was so guilt edge. he should have buried it. Um, so yeah, we should have gone in 1-0 up in my opinion. Although Pedro did have a one-on-one, -on -one. he couldn't quite get it out of his feet. He was sort of tra he was trapped under his feet, um, which gave Czech the split second to come out, press him. By which time he was stuttering to try and get it out. And Koscielny, wow, great tackle. Fantastic last-ditch tackle and, and saved a, a goal. Um, so, yeah, first half, I thought, wow, we, we've done actually really well. I was really shocked, um, really pleased. I thought it was the best we'd played for a long, long time um, after a, a five-minute, ten-minute shaky little start. Um, second half, we come out again. First five minutes or so, Chelsea come at us. They made a change with Bakayoko, who, in my opinion, should have started for Chelsea. The guy, I've seen him in the flesh now. Wow, that geezer is a mountain. He is fucking massive. It's the, when you see him on telly, you think, yeah, he's big. But when, you, when you're actually sat there and he's 10 foot away, 20 foot away, it's, he is massive, like huge. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I was shocked he didn't start, but he came on second half just to try and get a foothold in the midfield and and him and Kante they they, they looked really good together. Um I was I was really really pleased with Bakayoko or shocked should I say um at how good he actually was. Um and as a unit you know what you're gonna get with Kante, you know he's gonna be sniffing around your heels. Um but yeah, um first five, ten minutes of the second half, Chelsea came at us and um really really had a go at us in the second half and that made us play even better. That that gave us more gaps and spaces to exploit. Um, and I thought we exploited them rather well. I thought Aaron Ramsey, that was the best I've seen him play for for a long, long time. I can't even remember the last time Aaron Ramsey played that well. He was orchestrating everything. Everything was going through him. Um, we had an opportunity with Mustafi where he scored. We were all going nuts. And then we realised that it was offside. So... Yeah, one minute you're up here, then you're back down here again. And it always baffles me as to how 
a player when they're looking straight down the line, and Theo Walcott does this all the time and it pisses me off. They're looking straight down the line, out the corner of their eye they can see the kick taker, um, and they can't stay onside. I mean, if he had been maybe half a second later with his run, we might have been sitting here talking about an Arsenal victory 1-0 Mustafi winner. But all in all, um, I thought we played really well. Um, David Luiz, I just want to touch on that. Absolute disgusting tackle. There was no need for him to do it. He had Sanchez and Kalasinac, um in front of him. Oh, sorry, Kalasinac in front of him and um, Sanchez running alongside him to get the ball back. And as soon as he took that heavy touch, you just see him lunge and it was like, oh, wow, this is bad. I've now seen it, um, seen the actual real-time, real-speed footage of it on, um, on camera and it gets dirtier every time I watch it. Disgusting tackle. I've also seen as well that he's smiling when he gets given the red card. He's looking at Alexis Sanchez and he's smiling and laughing. Well, let's hope that you're not laughing next time we meet you, mate, because that could, uh, that could have serious consequences because that could be payback in the next game. Not that I'd advocate that, but yeah, it would, would, would not surprise me one little bit if he got a little bit of his, um, his own medicine next time we played. But anyway, um, before I wrap this up, I want to give a shout out to two people. Um, subscribe to both their channels if you could. Um, my boy Ola. Ola, my man, I love you big time. Appreciate what you've done for me today. Um, and I hope, you're, I hope you're all well and good and I hope your family as well, bruv. Um, I'll put the link for his channel in the description down there. It's Capital Scorpions TV. Um, he's my brother from another mother. So yeah, he is sound. Go and follow that guy's channel. Um, the other guy is a Chelsea fan and a very good friend of mine as well. I've known him nearly 20 years. I was on his show last night on SW6, Chelsea SW6. Um, if you've not subscribed to Tony's channel and you want to go and have a look, he's a non-biased Chelsea fan, a bit like I'm a non-biased Arsenal fan. And yeah, he's absolutely sound. I'll stick his description down there as well. Let me know what you guys think of the game. Let me know whether you think, like I do, that we should have won. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that we've come out with a draw. But it's improvement. It's the first time we've took points at Chelsea for a long, long time. So, yeah, it's improvement. And let's hope they can play like that in all the big away games. Leave your comments down there. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the love on all the videos. And donkey punch the fuck out of the like button. Laters, peeps. Mm -hmm.